They freaking pulled that fast one again. Shall we begin? Let's begin. What is going on, guys? This is Dan Man, aka Daniel Sun, and we are talking Pixar's new movie that just dropped today on Merry Little Christmas, Soul. I'm gonna get straight to it. I was super mad very i was very freaking mad watching this film on my disney plus because i really was enjoying the first half of this film i was blown away uh i not knowing very much seeing the trailers of going into here i think i don't think anybody knew what was coming jamie fox man i at first, you, you hear his voice here and there, but he was kind of like a Bradley Cooper for Rocket, where I'm like, dude, this guy's killing it. I don't really, I'm not really hearing Jamie Foxx. I'm hearing Joe Gardner. I'm hearing this character that we see in the trailer that, of course, it's your your character that's, oh, you know, he's down on his luck. He's got that one opportunity. He's like, mm, everything's coming together. And then he dies. <laughs> He has to go through a lot of things. Uh, he has to understand what what has happened at this instant. There is some crazy, crazy stuff in the very beginning where I'm like, is this a kid's movie or is this straight to adults? Because this, this it's soul. Soul and it's life, life lessons, meaning of life. Like there's a lot of things to really process. Even I was like, whoa, this film... In the beginning, it reminded me a lot of like Inside Out. Inside Out, if it was deeper. <laughs> I mean, Inside Out was the kids' version. This is the deep, this is the adults. You better pay attention. Cause Joe is not particularly all the way dead. He's like kind of in the middle ground. All right. And there's a lot of design work in this film, which I was really I was blown away. Like I it, it took me a while to really appreciate, like, okay, they're, they're really giving me these designs. I mean, even though Joe and this character that we get introduced, 22, who is uh, voiced by Tina Fey, when they get introduced, I'm like, these are, these are Pillberry Doughboy, but blue, Smurf-like. But they're so cute and adorable. But then, like, I, I love the movements in this film. I love the just the imagination in this film. I love the abstract art in this film. I like the deep meanings of this film in the first half. That second half rolls by, and I'm like, no. They did. I am I am beyond mad. I don't even want to continue to watch this. I don't care what happens after this. This is this is this is this is all over again. This is this is all over again. And when I mean all over again, I'm saying this is brave. When they introduce 22 and they introduce, you know, Joe and 22 and they get together, and I'm not going to spoil for you for I'm not going to spoil it, but when they when when Joe has to pretty much kind of like show 22 why what the meaning of life and you know love and life and all that stuff and how it, it, it's very interesting it's very very interesting how the whole system kind of works they kind of explain to uh joe all the aspects of why he where he is at what is your meaning in life what are you meant to do and all that kind of stuff and it's really cool some of the cameos in here and some of the some of the uh, logic when it comes to 22 as well 22 you know she could be or whatever the 22 is at this point is kind of like you know could be a little annoying but honestly i didn't find that too much because i really like the back and forth with 22 and joe but when this second half happens i'm like i'm done i'm done i'm just gonna say that it involves a cat and it involves joe's real body i was absolutely so heartbroken because i'm like no go back to that first half this was the imagination this is what i was looking for I, i'm i'm glued i'm interested you have my I, take my money give me my refund the second half i get it story-wise it makes sense story-wise what they were presenting i could see why they went that route but my god 
I've seen this before. You were doing such a good job that first half. You're telling me you couldn't think of anything else to do going forward. There is great moments in this film. Even in the second half, there's great moments. The music's fantastic. The look of the characters are great. It kind of reminds me of a little bit of an Illumination kind of character artwork too, design-wise. But when you... The the writing. what You guys had me. You guys... You guys had me. And then you pulled the brave on me. And it just... It upset the hell out of me. I wanted to continue watching. I wanted to like, you know, like what they were going with this. But it was all the same goof jokes. It was the same jokes. It was the same. It was it was all similar stuff you've seen before, and it made me angry and it made me upset because they were really killing it in that first half. So, my conclusion is this: Soul was great in the beginning, and then it just got too mediocre in that second half to the. Almost to the ending. The ending was nice. I liked the little bow tie in the ending. I enjoyed that. But but that ending, after watching the whole movie, it kind of reminded me of like, this is like a short. This is like a short that got expanded. It, it's not very, it's not a long movie. I think it's an hour and 43 minutes. It's not a very long one. It tells, it, it's a pretty good pace. Pretty good pace. Tone is nice. The Like I said, the music's great. The lighting is fantastic. But I think a lot of people are going to get upset because of that second half. They really tone it down and they really kind of just like bring it back to that Pixar Disney level, you know. And I don't understand that when they're really bringing you something in the beginning. So my conclusion on this one is that I was I was I was on board. I was excited. I was I was loving it. And then it went downhill and I just. Honestly, I will never watch this film again just because of how that disappointing second half was. I can't I can't watch it. I can't do it. That's it. That's a one and done for me. I don't know how you guys feel. Let me know. Very, very upset on what, the direction that they, they went with this. Because, like I said, there's a lot of great stuff in here. A lot of great stuff. Uh, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. would really appreciate it. Like the video if you like it. And then there's a little bell icon that you click and you get all the notifications on when my videos pop up. And yeah, I'm going to have a lot. And there's going to be a lot coming. There's already a lot already on like on the channel. So check it out. I need to know, do you guys feel the same way? Or do you think you're crazy, Dan? This movie was fantastic. Masterpiece. Jamie Foxx. Electro was fantastic. He's blue again. Let me know. Thank you guys. Have a Merry Christmas. And I am... Um...